Hello, my name is Tomislav and this is a tutorial for Delam and Volvo upholstery. Basically in this tutorial I'm gonna explain you how to use the website, how to edit some pages, uh, as well uh, how to add new blog posts, how to add images, hyperlinks and such. So let's start. Currently I'm on a homepage. First I'm gonna show you how to edit pages. Let's say about about. Currently I'm logged in as administrator. You can see that in the top panel I have options that only administrators see. So here we're gonna click edit with Visual Composer. There we go. We opened an editor for this About Us page. We can see now here that there's a row with the columns, one column. Here we have a bunch of text and few images. If you want to, let's say, edit the heading of this page, which is this one right here, the element wall upholstery repairs about us. We have to navigate to with mouse on it and click the pencil edit custom heading. A new pop-up window will show up which we can edit. You can see that text right here and we can edit to any text that we want right here and it will automatically update in the page. If you want to edit the text below we again navigate with mouse over the text and click edit text block. In the new window, where is the pop-up? There we go. We are free to edit the text right here. This is a visual editor. We as well have text editor which is on the right. Here we this is basically the same thing, just with tags. This is the, the code itself for the text. If you want to, uh, let's say, add some text behind workshop in Sydney, we we'll simply start writing it down. Like on this example. When we are done, we just click Save Changes and it automatically updates to the website. We won't do that right now. Let's say we want to add a new hyperlink, which is a link basically to some other page. It can be your page or some other page. We do it like this. We have a button insert edit link here. We click on it. We type a link right here. Let's say YouTube. And below we have a link text, which we will call YouTube and click add link. So with this we added a hyperlink which uh, visitors when click it will navigate them to external page which will be YouTube. We can add images in here as well. We do that by add media. We can select images from the media library which is all images that are currently updated, uploaded to this website. You can select either one of these and click insert into page. We can choose the size here. We have three, three sizes to choose from. We can choose alignment here. Do we want the image to be centered? Do we want the image to be uh, on the left or right side? When we choose our settings, we just click insert into page. If we have image on our PC, we have to click Upload Files, which is on the left side for Media Library. We click on it and here we have Select Files button. And now we choose simply from the PC the image we want and we upload it. We click Open. It uploads and we click Insert into Page. And it's simple as that. Let's say I'm gonna add image from Media Library just for demonstration. 
I'm gonna choose let's say alignment left I'm gonna choose medium size and click insert into page there we go image is right here I've selected uh, the position of a mouse to the start of this title promises made promises kept and it added the image right here with the left alignment we can choose we can click on image and choose another alignment let's say center it, it will center the image or on the right side it will automatically go on the right and text will adjust to the image when we're done with editing we click save changes and when we're done with the whole page about we have to up update it since we're in visual composer if we click on X button it will exit the visual composer mode and it won't save anything we have to click update when we update the page we then exit the visual composer This editing is basically the same on all these pages. Let's say history. It's the same thing. We edit with Visual Composer and edit text, images, links. Same thing. As well as for services, materials, contact. Let's show a home page now. We want to edit the home page. We again click edit with Visual Composer. Here we have the home page. Now we can edit, we can't edit the top part because this is a slider, it's external part of WordPress. It isn't uh, editing here. We can only edit the content below, which is this text right here or the sidebar. And these three boxes, three images with its own text. So if we want to edit this content, which is this one from Trusted Upholstery by Dell and Google. And below we click navigate with mouse on it and click edit text block. We have a whole part of the text right here. And we can simply change whatever we want in here. We can even drag and make it larger so it's easier to edit. And when we, when we are done with changes, we click save changes. We can add images or hyperlinks the same way I explained one minute ago in here as well we can even make this text look bold with uh, these options that we have in the text editor we can make it italic or bunch of other things if you want to change image of let's say this bottom part we have to click edit text block we can either delete this image right here with the click of on a remove button and add a new one with add media we can even go in the text editor but it's a little bit more complicated so I recommend you to use visual editor since you're not programmers with visual editor we can delete this image by clicking on the remove button I'm gonna de demonstrate it right now there we go we can now add a media and add this image back like it was let's say this one click insert into page We just center it and there we go it's basically like it was before I delete it that way you can change this image and text is right below the image this is the text that you are editing this text is a little bit more complicated since it's a button if you want to change a name of a button which is now tell me more 
you have to edit this this part. Same applies for other boxes. And that's basically it. That's the whole editing of a home page. When we're done, we have to uh, click update once again and with the X button, exit visual composer, edit mode. The last part that I want to explain is how to add new blog posts. We have a blog. This is the whole post that we have on the website. We currently have only one. You want to add another blog post. We go to the dashboard. We navigate to posts and add new. Here we write a title. Here will go our text, which I just for demonstration write something. Now we have to choose a category. We have to choose blog. We can write some tags here for better search and we have to add a featured image we click on set featured image we again upload it from our pc or choose it from media library let's say this one this is just a demonstration there we go image is added if you want to change a date when we have published this post, we can change it here. We can set a date in the past, like the post was added six months ago. We can choose any date that we want, or we can even schedule it for the future. If you want to add this post in the 3rd third of March, we write the date here and the time, and we click OK, and then we click Schedule. If you want to publish immediately, we just click publish and the post will appear on the blog page. Right here. And that's basically everything that I wanted to explain you in this tutorial. Thanks for watching.